in this campaign is one of the most dominant performances of all time in Trackmania 2020 by Shadowcrancer. 698,000 points to the second place, which has 264,000. How impressive is that? Let me give you context. The most dominant performance ever in terms of points was Hefest, who got 426,000 in the first campaign. And if you go to any given map, chances are you see him either top two or top three. I thought what we do today is just look at all the campaign records and appreciate Shadowcrancer's insane performance. I'll start with map 20. I hunted this for an ungodly amount of hours. 16 hours total on this map. Shadowcrancer got this time in three hours. He completely obliterated my record. And it's third in the world out of like several hundred thousand players. But next to Tux and, and Shadowcrancer, it's just absurd. And we are we cannot get close. Both me and Tux were like handshakes. We give up. This guy is insane. So he just got a better reactor zoop. Uh, and then he kept the speed. And I want to show this turn. Look. Oh. There's something going on here, which is that at 600 speed, the car automatically starts sliding in a turn. So you have to slow down to under 600 and then accelerate over it. Look at how well Shadow Cancer manages that while while getting the turn perfect. All the way out left, perfect apex and the outside line. And then he's just faster for the finish. And then he's a speed slide out of the loop and another speed slide there, speed slide, speed slide, finish. And that's not the only map. I know Eddie hunts every 01 map out there at Elite. If you go to a campaign, he hunts them. Shadowcans was second here. And he got this time in again, like, like three hours. Second world. But apart from Eddie, he's beaten everyone else. So in this map, you get the speed slide downhill, speed slide again. Long speed slide there. Slightly ahead of Eddie Elite in speed, but wider approach, earlier speed slide, release. <laughs> and he gets uh, 3,000 off. Map number two. Oh, Shadow Cancer top one. This is a world record he lost, like blood finally beat him. And then he took it back like a few hours after. Just like, oh, let me take it back. Like, yeah, I'm mine. This one is mine. You you, you got close, but I, I, I'll have this one. Thank you very much. Better turns in the start. And he also gets a nice exit approach there into the wall ride. So he can go lower here. And that's what makes him remain ahead. Second place, first place. Map number three, second place. Only Samifying beat Shadowcrancer, and it's because Sh Samifying has been practicing this trick that is recently found that Sammy calls the, um, the Quantum Slide, I believe. And Shadowcrancer is also very good at it, where essentially it looks like they are no sliding, but they are speed sliding while having full grip. That's the best way I can explain it. If you look at this, pay attention to the lines and look at how they're overlapping, but they're barely apart. Right there, do you see that? That small change here again? They're like, like microscopically far apart, you know? So the car is in a state of full grip, but it's also gaining the speed from a speed slide. It's the fastest dirt speed slide you can do. Ice wiggle map. Yeah, he's third on that, because guess what? This guy beat Midori Author Medal. Of course he can relearn an Ice Wiggle. He's a master of all the elements. He's the Avatar. He was even ahead before the last Wiggle. He could have had this world record. Third place, so second, first, second, third, third in the first five maps. Here, he got beaten by Arpax and Noah. The speedbender. <laughs> Let's see if they used uh, the thing here at any point. Not really, it's, f it's full sliding on this map. And then you need that reactor zoops. Ooh, 
inside line versus outside line. If you're wondering how many people play these maps, let's take map five, right? The one we just saw as an example. The best estimate for player count is 1 million on the low end, but it, get, it gets very inaccurate beyond this point. Okay, Shadowcrancer ahead of Corny. I right, just 5,000 here, world record. Ooh, insane uphill to re reduce airtime. And then they do this checkpoint hit to uh, get earlier onto the plastic. Sometimes crashing is faster. Okay, that is a trick I haven't seen. I didn't know this existed. What? Oh, it's so close. Shadow still wins. Map 7, Hobbit beat him by 3,000 here. They do a ramp cut on the start, and then, to me, to me, this is very, very, very cool. They ramp cut to reduce airtime and get this line where they can balance on two side wheels over the grass edge. I fawn over things like that. I think it's so cool. This is again that slide trick, by the way. This is something you're going to see a lot more pros having to learn because it's, it's so fast. And Hobbit is behind, but he got a better last turn, more speed, slight reduction of airtime, and... Barely ahead. Map 8. Oh. Oh, he's he's first. Shadowcrancer with a world record. Wait, what is that? They hit the plastic disc? Why? Oh, he found a speed slide there? Oh, through the pillars. Wait, this is so exciting. I haven't seen these maps, like, the records on them since the campaign discovery, basically. The slide trick, the quantum slide. Holy. This is so technical. Wait, I gotta, okay. Does that first thing even save time? Yeah, but like, whoa, that's not a lot. Shadowcrancer and Hobbit, 100th apart here too. But Shadowcrancer with another world record on map nine. This is 5 out of 10 world records so far. <laughs> really inside line there. Also making it in time for the exit with a speed slide in the downhill. Okay. We knew it was a full speed campaign, but the amount of speed slides that Shadowcrancer is using is insane to watch. I think that was even a trick in the end there. Map 10! By five hundredths. Okay, this is a very big margin. This map has kind of everything. It even has a drift, which is rare in this campaign. He clipped, but he didn't lose time. Again, this full grip speed slide. <laughs> really good speed. Ice wiggle into the plastic wall. That makes so much sense. That does make sense. I think at the highest level of Trekmania, if there's any downtime in your run, you could be doing something. You know, that, that's what it seems like at this point. Grass full speed by 300 against Noah. With skid marks. Speed slide there, gear five there. Not really ideal, but the map isn't built in a way where you can get the ideal speed slide angle until here. That's so clean. Great setup here. Noah catching up a little bit. Still looks effortless though. One million people have played this campaign. This is the worst position we've seen yet. This is the worst position. He's only fourth here. This is an amateur time from Shadowcrancer. Washed up. <laughs> Washed up on the leaderboard. <laughs> I mean, he's a hundredth behind world record. Wow. Only one hundredth behind. God, that's close. Map 13, a map I actually hunted, by the way. I, I hunted this map. How many hours do I have? Okay, I have one hour on this map. It looks like I'm ahead, but Shadowcrancer has more speed, and he is probably never going to lose that. So let's get Hobbit in here. Really good downhill. A lot of speed there. 
getting the air brake right. Oh, and they go wider. They go wider than what I did. That is quite beautiful to look at. Main channel video end. It's actually gonna be like the next two days probably. <laughs> Why can we not be a Tim? Bro, I swear. Someone stop this man. It's so crazy. Oh, what a slide. Wait. No. No. Let's first let Shadow Crancer cook here. Oh, okay. Wow. So he does the trick, right? He has a gear change mid turn from fourth to fifth. So he stops the quantum slide mid turn and flicks instantly back into it. He's not just holding one angle, but he goes like. Huh, huh. And he keeps the full grip. The others did not do that. Because I think this is one of the, like, that, that is so hard. This is a map with uh, no sliding, so let's just watch the steering. It's probably super smooth. He's uh, wet tires here and trying to avoid the car from sliding. Really smooth. Prevents the slide on the downhill. <laughs> And the uphill. This is so hard. Even on a map that has like sand and bug slides and stuff, he's still cooking. Second place. But Corny did beat him. He had a better start. You got this hover boost into side landing. Another boost here. Bounce for another boost. Corny does the bug slide. Oh, he's the only one that does it, I think. That's wicked from Corny, though. Okay, honestly, that's really sick from Corny. Because that's the uh, only trick I knew about here. And I, look, it seems like not a lot of people are using it. So Shadowcrancer got a better boost here, I would say. But then the setup just... Whoa. Chef's kiss. Well... I learned something new today. Shadow Crancer world record. Already speed sliding on that booster because it's a grass booster. That one is full grip, so you don't. And through the snaking paths, he gets a better line than his opponent. He's slightly slower here. But now you have the water bounce ending. And yeah, it's just, just better. Does anyone have the world record count? I've lost count of his world records. Okay, now we're in sliding territory. This is so hard. When you see one skid mark, the car is about to slide. So he's right on the danger zone. <sighs> okay. Okay. He's driving so fast he gets a roof hit. I've never seen that. 86%, just hold that 80. Okay, drop it down a bit faster now. Oh. Oh my. You need the roof it for champion metal? Damn. Shadow Crancer on map 19. 15 hundredths out of everyone else. Okay. Fun. Fun to compete against. This is bullying. This is bullying because he is from the future using strategies. Okay, no, the others are actually doing it. He's just doing it so well. He's mastered that dirt thing so well. So soon and people can't keep up. But here you also have the hover boost trick. That's why he jumps in a weird way like that to get the hover boost and then... Even adding two small speed slides there. It's so sick.
It's so sick. Where is Shadow Cranter? Where is he? Luckily, I have a tool that lets me track down his personal best. So let me do that real quick. Now, wait, is this real? <laughs> He's ninth. Only ninth. <laughs> Okay. Kind of sick. Thank you. Thank you. I don't use the plugins I own. <laughs> he capped up with dopamine in the first turn. Dopamine is gonna actually be slightly slower. Dopamine got a good turn there. Also does the left tap, but you can't really see it. And then wide here. Looks like he missed the turn, but no, he gets the most exit speed he can. And now he's just so fast. Jumps pretty far. Drift to get all the way out there. Into a speed slide. Perfect setup pretty much for this turn. All the speed he can get. So fast. Another speed slide. All the way out to the checkpoint wide right. So you can push full left. Another tiny left tap there for the tilt. And then another pretty good end. Maybe a little bit slower than the first one, but... This is a very hard record to beat. And Shadow Cancer only being like two tenths behind each lap is really strong. Ice map. Okay. Not in the top five here either. He is 10th place. Smart. Okay, my PB is going to be there for like one second. Genru has this world record though, and he's a 10, he's a three tenths out of Shadow Cancer. But this is still a top 10 world time from Shadow. Looks like he is equal, but way less speed and has to go wider to get uh, the platform. And the last jump, and I know Genru had this basically perfect. You have to release at a certain time to land at the very top of this um, downhill. So Shadow Cancer released too late here and doesn't get the booster at the same time. That's why he's behind. That's his two worst. And a, and a fourth place. <laughs> and now he's back to second. Only beaten by a skip. A skip. Oh, they drift there. Interesting. They tap brake to get a flat flight. Skip had so much speed. Ah, uh, Krenz is going to land earlier, though. And again, a better setup here. Now the NASCAR part. Skip releasing in time to get the right speed. <laughs> that is very satisfying. Like, just, they're driving at such high speed, right? But look at how they both kind of snap into the same angle. Because anything else doesn't make the turn. Like, different setup here, and then just... Instantly into the same line to get to here. Shortcut map with reactor flights with a lot of things all over the place. Yeah, he's still third. Corny and Rixo hunted this an ungodly amount. Where you fly across a bunch of obstacles, and then you have to get that boost right there. But... He beat everyone else, except for these two. And you got the... No steer wall. It's all forced uh, camera 3, by the way. Because you have camera 3 in the start, and you fly, so you never lose it. You never hit the trigger to, uh... Get rid of the camera three. So yeah, that's that's pretty wild. And the last map, map 25. <laughs> also a world record. Another one. Only by a hundredth, but still. Six first place. Uh, so yes, 13 first places. Six second places. Three third places. One fourth, one ninth, and one tenth. What kind of average is that? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, bro. Oh, it's so 
It's so refined. Wow. Darkest Sentinel had a really good wiggle. And a good dump on the wall. But then, Shadow Crancer did... I think that was four speed slides. While doing that regular turn, so... Spot speed there, quickly adjust, speed slide, speed slide. Speed slide. And then the wall bang perfectly as well, to slow down for this turn. Uh, going wider, so he doesn't force the car to steer as much, so he's faster. And that brings him to 700,000 points. <sighs> it's, it's tough to compete against, it's so obnoxious to try to beat.